It's too early for this, Tim. You dropped it at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I'm not up yet. I had to record this in my car to not wake up my family. We got family in town. I don't want everybody to hear me recording this early in the morning. But yeah, I think it's abundantly clear as to why Apple is not hosting a March event this year because this is a uh, pretty dang minor, as minor as it gets. So I'm just gonna tell you the news, tell you that it's not worth it, and we can all go about our day. Sound good? Let's begin. For the first time, an M3 chip is now shipping in a MacBook that doesn't have fans. The M3 MacBook Air is officially here and you can order it today and it'll arrive by Friday, but do not do that because this is not worth it. I don't care who you are and I know I've defended Apple in the past, but this is something that is just not worth it. In fact, the new M3 MacBook Air has more of an effect on the previous generation MacBook Air than it does on itself. Like that's how minor of a refresh this is. So just as a little bit of a recap, this is the exact same design, exact same display, pretty much exact same colors, although they say midnight is slightly less fingerprinty. It's the same ports. It's pretty much the same prices both the 13 inch and 15 inch were refreshed simultaneously and at least brand new apple is no longer selling the 15 inch macbook air with m2 but they did keep the 13 inch macbook air with m2 around so that poor 15 inch macbook didn't even make it a year but they're now selling that m2 macbook air for a thousand dollars and that's not even the one i'm gonna recommend a lot of you know where this is going already but many of you may ask that okay drew well if it's the same design it's the same port same display same webcam all of these things are the same what did apple actually change aside from updating the silicon on the inside well they're really grasping at straws here because we got wi-fi 6e which you know we all know your internet performance is going to be more based around your isp than it is which kind of wi-fi you have especially on a laptop i don't think this is going to make a colossal difference but yeah you got a new wi-fi chip and now this is the funniest one apple is boasting that the m3 macbook air can support up to two external monitors if the MacBook Air lid is closed. So yeah, even though it's still the same number of Thunderbolt ports and everything, and it's the same type of Thunderbolt as the last MacBook Air, if you close the MacBook Air lid, they let you have two external monitors, but then you can't access your trackpad or keyboard. So assuming you're willing to spend the extra money on the M3 variant, and you're willing to buy two external monitors, and you're willing to buy an external keyboard and mouse, then yes, I guess this MacBook has additional capabilities. But the reason I say they're stretching a lot here is because the M3 MacBook Pro, the 14 inch model, that doesn't support two external monitors with the lid closed. So they had to kind of come up with some software workaround because I guess the M3 chip is not capable of doing two external monitors with the MacBook display running at the same time. And I think that's totally possible to do on the 14 inch MacBook Pro. They just didn't get around to adding the software for it. And Apple knew that, well, we need some kind of headlining feature. We need something to make it look like this M3 MacBook is capable of doing additional features. But the M3 and the M2 also have the exact same RAM storage configurations. The same number of CPU and GPU cores are available as well. And Apple's website makes it pretty obvious that we're not supposed to compare the M2 and the M3 because when you go deeper into the M3 on that page, they showcase how incredibly similar the performance is between the M2 and the M3. I understand that the three nanometer architecture is supposed to be more efficient and faster, but if it's anything like we've seen with the three nanometer architecture on our iPhones and with the new M3 MacBook Pros, we know that thermal limitations are probably going to be a thing on the MacBook Air because it doesn't have any active cooling systems in place. And at the end of the day, you're buying a MacBook Air. So do you really care about performance that much? I mean, on Apple's own site, they say that the M2 MacBook Air is 1.4 times faster than the M1 and the M3 MacBook Air is 1.6 times faster than the M1. So I guess it's another way of them saying that it's 20% faster than the M2 chip. And that's being generous. I think in a lot of circumstances, it probably won't even be 20%. The weird historical thing though, is that Apple has finally discontinued the M1 MacBook Air. That was the last MacBook that was using the wedge design. So the Johnny Ive design of MacBooks has finally passed. M1 MacBook Air, you did a great job. Still an amazing machine. But that brings me to the fact that you can still find them 
them through Apple's own certified refurbished page. You knew this was coming. You knew I had to bring this up. And that's where the real deals are. This is the main reason I don't think anyone on earth should actually buy the M3 MacBook Air. M3 chip is not going to be that much faster. The design is identical. The specs are close to identical aside from Wi-Fi 6E and one very gimmicky external monitor option. But if you go certified refurbished, you can find the M1 MacBook Air if you're comfortable with that older wedge design for under $800 now. And keep in mind with Apple certified refurbished, they replace the battery, they replace the outer shell. It's practically brand new and you can hardly tell the difference. But if you want that new updated design, you want MagSafe and you want the 1080p webcam and you want the slightly larger display. If you want all of those things, you can now buy the M2 MacBook Air certified refurbished for $850. This is an incredible deal, a great value if you care about having that up-to-date design language, which is, again, identical to the M3. And let's even say you want that 15-inch MacBook Air, right? Because, I don't know, you like having a slightly larger laptop for whatever reason. Well, you can buy the M2 15-inch MacBook Air uncertified refurbished for about $1,000. That's $300 cheaper than buying the M3 variant. And what do you miss out on? Wi-Fi 6E, a barely faster chip and the option to close the MacBook and use two external monitors with an external keyboard and mouse. I don't think that many of you are going to do that. And if you're specking up a MacBook Air like that, specifically because you want to connect more external monitors, keep in mind that you can find 14-inch MacBook Pros now for about the same price and they're going to have way better onboard displays, way better microphones, way better speakers, way better port selection. So sorry, no, there's just no market in my view for any of the M3 MacBook Airs. That's why Apple dropped it at 5 a.m. They were hoping we wouldn't notice. That's why there's probably no March event because this is about as minor of a refresh as you can get. But am I wrong? No, but feel free to disagree in the comments down below. And thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly. It seriously helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you all in the next one.